Yusuf alayhi salam is the powerful Aziz, the minister of Egypt. His brothers are in front of him. You can imagine what is going through his mind. Test after test after test because of what they did. He was thrown in a well, a dark well alone. Then he was put into slavery, sold as a slave. And then he was accused and slandered. And then he was put in prison, test after test after test. Trial and hardship after trial and hardship after trial and hardship. And now he is in front of the people who made this happen to him. What punishment will he give them? What will he tell them? He said, do you remember what you did to Yusuf? Who is this person? How could he know of what we did to Yusuf? Nobody knows except for the ten of us and Yusuf himself. How could this man know? Who is this person? And then they asked him, are you Yusuf? Is it possible? Are you Yusuf? He's the only other one that could have known. He said, yes, I am Yusuf. And then he said something powerful words, words that if we implemented in our lives, if the Ummah implemented these words, this world would be a different place. Our homes would be different. Our societies would be different. It will be a completely transformed atmosphere, society. Yusuf alayhi salam, he said these powerful words. Firstly, he says, I am Yusuf and this is my brother. Indeed, Allah, manna alayna Allah. Allah has favored us. And then he said something even more powerful. But before we go to that, I want you to just stop here for a second. I want you to think. I want you to ponder and contemplate. He's gone through trial after trial after trial. He's thrown in a well. He's sold as a slave. He's been slandered. He's been imprisoned. And what does he say? Allah has blessed us. Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allah has blessed us. Hardship after hardship after hardship, but he does not complain. He said, Allah has blessed us. How do we react when we go through trials and tribulation? We go through a small trial and instantly we're complaining and moaning. Why me? Why did Allah give me this problem and this trial? Yes or no? Yes or no? He goes through trial after trial after trial and he said, Allah has blessed us. And then he says the next powerful sentence, powerful sentence, mind blowing sentence. They ask him for forgiveness. And he says, La there is no blame upon you today. No problem. I have forgiven you. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Sold as a slave. Before that put in the well. Slandered in prison for years. How many years have gone by? Away from his father. Away from his loved ones. Put in a country that he does not even know. And in front of him are the criminals that did this to him. There is nothing to worry about, nothing to fear about. You have been forgiven. Forgiving, overlooking, being forbearing, tolerating, despite the hardship, despite the difficulties, Despite what you have done to me, 
there's no sin upon you today, Allah. My brothers and sisters, how is it possible that this man, Yusuf alayhi salam, could go through years of trials and tribulations because of these people, and yet when he comes face to face with them, he's able to say, don't worry, there's no problem. We forgive you. How is it possible? How is it possible? My brothers and sisters, the people who truly understand the grand scheme of things, they understand the meaning of Jannah, the meaning of Nar, the meaning of paradise and hellfire, the people who truly understand their Lord, they don't want harm to go to anybody. 